Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my room I hate how you assume I'll take the pleasure and the pain The sorrows in your brain Welcome to this new episode of Wild of the World. And the country I'm in is very special. I don't even know if you have heard of it. It's called St. Kitts and Nevis. The island St. Kitts where we are now, we are just outside the airport and we're going backpacking. This time no fancy car, no bus, just these two buddies of mine. Let's walk. And what an epic adventure it has been so far. We hopped across eight islands to end up at this one. We hopped from one Caribbean paradise to the other. And from popular St. Martin, we now fly to authentic St. Kitts in just half an hour. How's it going, Suze? Fine. I should do this more often. Like every Sunday, go to St. Kitts, hang like a ton of baggage around my neck and kill myself doing some workout. But it's fun. Our super local hotel is close to the airport in Basseterre. The capital has a French name and means low ground. In about 30 degrees Celsius we immediately receive a warm welcome. So let me show you where we guys are staying here on St. Kitts. It's an old colonial house. It's beautiful and very big. We have a room here, uh, you can see the nature all around. So let me just show you guys the room. We're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so guys, we're just in St. Kitts, in the middle of nowhere. But you can order a pizza here and some cold cutting beers. Do you like the pizza hands? Want a beer to go with that? Of course we thought that was a wonderful workout with those backpacks. But a rental car is a must in St. Kitts if you want to see more of this country full of nature and history. When you're on St. Kitts, you will notice that this island just breeds history. It was discovered by Columbus in 1493, but after that, between 16 and 1800, there was a period of war between the French and the English over who gets this valuable island with all the sugar on it. They got slaves from Africa over here, like thousands of them, and that's why still 90% of the people living here have African roots. The island behind me is the one we're gonna discover, and we're gonna see this heavy history everywhere around. Welcome to St. Kitts. Down the years it's been a ride. We will dive into that and intense history later. St. Kitts and Nevis only has about 50,000 inhabitants and about 90% of the country is unspoiled nature. Baby, that's just the way we love And only in the dark do we see our sunlight Home is where we were We soon Home see that the island of St. Kitts is mountainous and green. We drive through this amazing landscape to the most southeastern tip. And this ain't the last time. Now this time before we go. The best nature on St. Kitts and Nevis can be found on the southern peninsula on St. Kitts, just near Nevis. You will see that there's no buildings anywhere and they're just lush green hills coming out of the blue water. It's really amazing. Never 
What a cool road trip you can make here along the coast. We look for the beach between the high cliffs, because we are in the Caribbean after all. So if you want to visit the beach, the south of St. Kitts is also the best place to go. You got Frigates Bay and Friars Bay. We are now at Friars Bay and another nice thing, there are some small bars where you can drink uh, beer or have some fish and there are also some wild monkeys around. Wow. <laughs> For us it's so nice to see these green vervet monkeys, but they do drive the farmers crazy. There are actually more monkeys than people living on St. Kitts. And just like the monkeys, the colonists brought more animals from Africa. And you can also find many of these mongooses, family of the better known meerkats. Call them back to a different time. Maybe I need to hear your voice to make me smile. No, 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 it's not said and done. Baby, you can fly with me and we'd be worried. And it's only time before we miss the fire. You These beaches are hidden gems, far away from the mass tourism. This here is the most relaxing Caribbean spot that we found. And what about those beautiful volcanoes in the background? Incredible, all that nature. But like I said, we also come here for a bit of history. And for that, we go to the capital best chair. So we decided to hit the supermarket instead of eating out. But I think this is even more expensive because all the products have been moved to the particular islands. So for like crisps, you easily pay more than three euros. And like this, some cereal, it's five euros. It's ridiculous. Some milk, 10 euros. A walk through the center takes us back to the 18th century. The town is pretty, but the context of course isn't. Right in the heart of the capital Basseterre you will find this square called Independence Square. It's a nice park where people now are picnicking, having fun, children are playing. But what you don't know about it, the history. Because slaves were lined up on this square and put up for auction. And it was one of the biggest places like this in the whole Caribbean. Thousands of slaves were sold here. Kind of impressive and really, really hard. just woke up from the burning sun. I thought we were actually staying at the sun because it was like 30 degrees here in the room. There was no ventilation because there was a power outage last night. So we still have no power in the room. No ventilation, no air conditioning, nothing. So I'm standing here outside, there's a little breeze, that's nice. Um, I will show you the view and I'm looking forward to seeing St. Kitts today because this looks amazing. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, we're on St. Kitts and we're gonna have another day in paradise. We're gonna drive around uh, on the north side, there is a big loop, only one way you can drive around St. Kitts and we're gonna do that. Um, and gonna see what kind of uh, sights there are to see about this history of St. Kitts. A lot of forts, a lot of cool places uh, with views, so I'm excited. Side to side, the 
Until my trouble come alive. This incredible paradise came with a price. To learn more about that, we drive to the east coast of St. Kitts. An interesting place to see something of the history and the slavery that's been taking place here is Karib Batik. It's an old plantation and a little bit over there you can see where the people used to work and this is the place where the rich slave owners used to live. This dates back from 1626. This place is one of the best and most vivid open-air museums about the Caribbean history. The wooden building is now an art shop, but it used to be the Romley Manor of the Wingfield Estate Sugar Plantation. This may look like a comfy little terrace over here where you can drink a beer. It actually is nowadays because there's a bar right over there. But back in the days in 1660, this would be the viewing gallery where the rich British slave owners would look down to the sugar plantation over there and watch the slaves work. We can still find someone here who witnessed all the cruelties. This stately salmon tree is actually over 400 years old and saw it all. And we can also walk over to the old plantation ruins. Right in the middle of the rainforest we travel back in time. On the way to the next site we see more living history. The cane train used to transport the sugar, but nowadays the visitors of the island. When we drive over to the west side of St. Kitts, we will find the best and most beautiful site remaining of the British colonial times, called Brimstone Hill Fortress. It's a really large fortress looking out over the sea and all the other islands. It's fantastic. Hey Jens, let's go inside. Wow. Just 15 minutes from the plantation we find this UNESCO World Heritage. It's incredibly well preserved and the drive up there is already an experience. Oh, and the fortress actually still has guards that don't seem to move at all. In this heat? The Brimstone Hill Fortress is also known as the Gibraltar of the West Indies. It's quite similar, but the views are even better. We can see the Dutch islands Sint Eustatius and Saba. As I told you earlier, Brimstone is the best preserved colonial fortress in the Caribbean or even the world. And it's not very crowded either. It was built in 1690 and the construction took over a hundred years.
Our last stop of our trip around St. Kitts is Black Rocks over on the east side. Another great example of the diversity of landscape you can find here on St. Kitts. The Black Rocks are actually lava that flowed here from the top of Mount Liamuiga, the volcano that dominates the north of St. Kitts. There are many tourist facilities, but we're the only ones here at Beer O'Clock. We relax a bit in the popular Frigate Bay, before we go on and visit the neighbors. For that we have to take a boat out of Port Zante. Today we bring a little visit to the other island. You have St. Kitts and Nevis. So now we're on Nevis. And why does it have the name Nevis? because Columbus saw the mountains, thought there was snow on top, there were clouds obviously because it's the tropics, and he called it nieve, which means snow in Spanish. So welcome to Nevis. The super relaxed island of Nevis only has about 12,000 people. In 1998 there was a vote to become independent of St. Kitts, but they didn't reach a majority. Between the colonial buildings of Charlestown we make a beautiful walk to the best beaches. Nevis has a lot of history just like St. Kitts. Aside from the plantations, the slavery and the wars that's been going on, there's also one fact the US citizens come to the island for. And that's the fact that one of the founding fathers of America was born on this island. His name is Alexander Hamilton and you see his name everywhere. But we're going to the beach and we leave this history lesson behind for now. Where St. Kitts has the impressive hills, Nevis has the better beaches. This here is Pinney's Beach. Jens was already practicing his singing voice because Nevis is really famous for its laid-back reggae culture. And that's something we can get used to. Today we woke up very early around 6 o'clock and Operation Human Truck is in order. We're going to walk to the airport and go to the next island. I'll see you there. Antigua. I guess you're back. Are you going to tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply. I'll see you there soon because the adventure continues. Subscribe to What of the World. I hate how you assume. I'll take the pleasure and the pain The sorrows in your brain